Hey guys, I'm all back again and welcome to day 5 in the life of the Google Pixel 8. Currently recording this video using the Pixel 8 as well and the majority of the footages I use in all my daily life videos so far I have been using the Pixel 8 camera and the video quality is pretty impressive so so far I've been pretty happy with it and even going to the camera setting alone I like the fact that this is not specific to the Pixel 8 but just Android 14 in general this little icon at the bottom all the photos will be in one bucket and all the videos will be in the other bucket so very super easy intuitive to navigate when you scroll back and forth I don't know why they haven't done this before or even like all the Samsung phone they have all the moods bunched together you don't know which one's a video which one is a photo i guess on samsung it says portrait video portrait photo so that's how you differentiate it but just seeing the little icon at the bottom just makes it a little bit easier to switch between which mode you're using the only complaint that i have that i have mentioned in other prior videos is that you can't keep the last use setting for example i record a lot of videos so every time i launch my camera i want it to stay on video but it always default to photo. I can do this on Samsung phone. I believe you can do it on iPhone as well, but for whatever reasons, Pixel don't give you the option to do it. So every single time I launch the camera, I have to go back in and then select video to start recording. So this is my quick random rat. Start crying. So before we jump into day five in the life of the Google Pixel 8, just want to give a quick shout out to our partner Mint Mobile. They currently offer 5G plans for as low as $15 a month, so make sure to check them out in the description below. It's really going to help out the channel. So on day five, I started my day roughly around noon when I finally unplugged my phone. I think I've been so busy all morning running around the house, I just had the phone plugged in. But I knew it was 100%, began using the phone, took some pictures of my baby's clothes as it's already needed to be retired. They grew up so fast. And I drove to go grab some lunch, got some Moroccan chicken for lunch, and it was delicious. I would say it is the best chicken wings in Massachusetts, so hot take. It is called Cafe Paprika in Norwood. It's not sponsored by them or anything, I just really like their chicken. And as I'm walking around, I'm going to see things that I need to take note of. I would just pull out my Pixel P, double tap on the power button to quickly launch a camera and snap a picture. So here's what I did in this case. So this house has solar panels on them. Just took a quick picture in case I need to go back and reference it later whenever I need to do research. Fast forward to 9.30 p.m. at night. We are at 10% battery. It is projected to last until 11.30. So that would give it about 11 and a half hours of total battery life today. Just gonna charge it overnight. I guess if you begin your day at noon, that should be fine. So this phone on average has been roughly a half day battery life. If you start your day bright and early, like five or six in the morning, you're definitely gonna need to top it off at some point throughout the day in the early to late afternoon. But today, 5G used the majority of the battery life. It was on for at least six hours. Just did my usual, watch some YouTube here and there, play Pokemon trading card game for close to an hour apparently. And as I was using the Pixel 8, I started to think about how this phone compared to the Pixel Fold. I think the Pixel 8 is a much better bargain <laughs> just in terms of some of the specs it has to offer. It has a 2000 peak brightness so when I'm walking around taking pictures or just using my phone, the phone is really bright. I never have any issues seeing on the outside compared to the 7 and the 7a that I used in the past. I have always have trouble, have some trouble with view angles when using it under direct sunlight. And even the Pixel Fold it is only at 1450 peak brightness, but it's always nice to have that extra buffer at the 2000 peak brightness whenever it's needed. And the Pixel 8 actually have a newer chip than the Fold. It is half the price of the Fold and it has IP68 water and dust resistant. Compared to the Pixel Fold, it only has water resistant and not dust. And overall, I just find the Pixel 8 much easier to use. It doesn't have an ugly crease in the middle. Of course, it doesn't open into an actual tablet. But most of the time when I use the Fold, I actually use it closed anyways. And I probably open it up about maybe 5 to 15% of the time. And I don't think that's really worth double the price. But if you want a tablet in your pocket and you use it a lot, then maybe the Fold might be something you want to consider. But for now, I don't really think the Fold is a good deal given that this is a newer phone, has higher spec, it is half the cost, and it's just a much easier phone to use. And the Pixel Fold is much heavier than the Galaxy Z Fold and all the other foldables out there really. So it's not a really user-friendly phone, especially you're holding it with one hand. It does feel like you're holding a brick and very hard to take pictures and record videos for longer than a minute or two. 
and it's very cumbersome to hold. And for me personally, whenever I need to use a big screen, I can go watch TV, I can go to my triple monitor setup, I have tablets laying around, I can just start firing off videos there. So I don't think having a tablet in my pocket justifies double the price. So just some random thoughts that concludes my day five in the life of the Pixel 8. If you have any thoughts, questions, concerns, anything else you guys want me to cover, thank you for watching. Remember to like and subscribe. Please check out day four if you haven't already and see you guys in the next video.